Hello everybody, uh, Scott Throng, getting ready to play some Endless Legend with Dimmer. Let me bring him in now. Hello, Dimmer. Hello. We are live now. Uh, are you going to host game? Yeah, I'm about to. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Thanks for joining. Not, no, not, not Sierra, not Siri. Go away, Siri. Siri. All right, so let's get a new game going. Let me. Let me yeah, you're funny. You're, you're you're funny there. How's it going today, Sarah? Let me get the game showing. In. Okay, there we go. And let's transition over to that. There we go. So. We're going to play some Endless Legend, as I said. I, this will be... I'm pretty sure this is your first time playing this, correct? Uh, Multiplayer, yeah. at least. I just, I just I'd say, say that it's my first time, time because the first time I tried this game, it came crashing because my Mac was fast enough to ah. save. All right, so let me change out. What color do you want to be? Orange, red, green? I want to be hot pink. You want to be hot pink, okay. Not slightly pink, hot pink. I'm making you as, oh, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, how do I change? Stop it. Oh, there it is. Friends only multiplayer. Let me invite you. Yeah. Invite. Whichever one you pop into, you can just yeah, change your. You can change the color, or I can change it for you. Okay. Yeah, I can't change it for you. Okay, who do I want to be? I don't want to be the roving clients. I've done them a lot. Who are the ones that have the? Walkers. Hey. Um, I'm doing well, Sarah. It's been a busy week. Um, this may be them. Yeah, this is them. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the roving clans again. All right, so let's determine some details here. So six, yeah, game speed fast. It's it's nice to be able to play play a game. Um, uh, there isn't hot pink. There is. Well, that's good. Good. Now let's look at the, the world. Large Pangea. Yeah. That'll work. That means we'll all be together. We could do two. Um, what does this rap? Oh, we'll do I saw some one of the other multiplayer games. Something from the map was like wrapped. Oh, world wrap. That means that, yeah. the, that means you can go off the other side and come back on the other. 
So yeah, we'll play with both hemisphere. See around the edges. Yes, content spread. I don't care about that. But everything else seems okay. All right. So yeah, default generation presets. So when you're ready, just click ready. Um, but yeah, it's it's been been a bit busy week. Been helping my daughter do Legos a lot this week. Excellent. Well, she has a bunch of big sets that she hasn't finished. I mean, that she kind of mixed all together, and she wanted to have some of them. Yeah. So I've been working on merge, you know, finding all the pieces and sorting them. So. Yeah. Um, I also got some mini figures, mini, 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 uh, so many sets that he found in the man shop. So I've got the time sector and the dry escape and the assault. Mm-hmm. Not many TAs, you don't have the Uh-oh. Someone just hosted. There it is. Sarah just unleashed my new my new alert. Thanks for that host there, Sarah. It's always appreciated. Pixel Sharks did it earlier during the the startup. On my channel, there's a there's an alert that flashes up that basically announces that the that someone has done, and I've got a couple different ones. I need to work on the new follower one. It's a little. I need to. I need a better picture for it, and or a better gift for it. Um, and I want to change the song. And the new subscriber one is a little short. So. So yeah, that one right there that you just did, Sarah. That's probably my favorite. The next one would be the raid one. I I, I had a lot of fun doing the raid one also. Timing it and everything. So. And played around with when the things would would you know appear so that they mm -hmm. could so that it would look like it was like the music was made to go with what what was being shown. your kingdom. We will rule them all. That's what matters. So, what I have to so, so. Okay, so, peace be to Rega. It's you. Okay, I've met one of the AIs, the Draken. Uh, these are the scholar people, but they. Yeah, so. They they like history artifacts and ruins. So now uh, it's, it's, go ahead. Yes, this is going to be if you've play if you've actually played any of Civ, this is gonna be a little bit different. You can actually show okay, so when you click on that unit that you have right there, yeah. you'll you'll look at the bottom, you'll see you have three units together. Yeah. Select the settler, and then although you don't really need to select the settler if you have them all, if all three are orange, then it's okay. But if you select the settler, then to the left you're going to see options of things that you can do. 
and one of them is establish a city. Now here's the thing about it, okay? When you want to establish the city, it's going to give you a place, it's going to give you a, like a city thing, where so you want to set it down. What you want to do is you want to look on the map and look at the different benefits that they're going to offer. What you want to look at is the total output. You want to maximize that as much as you can. Food, obviously, will make your city grow quickly. Um, you, uh, approval is good. You want to have high approval, but you want you want to get those as high as you can. So you're going to want to shift around to find the pl thing that's going to maximize as many of those as you possibly can. Once you've settled in a zone, that zone is a part of your kingdom and it can't be taken unless somebody comes and takes your 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 city. Ooh, that's a massive production place. And Okay, I'm putting mine right there. You have encountered a new faction. You're going to encounter these little factions. They're like villages in Civ, but these have quests that you complete for them, and they can give you units and stuff. Now, some, something else that is different from Civ, any resource that you can see inside your territory yeah. is, as soon as you can build the proper building over top of it, It'll just build it over it. You don't have to send a builder to it. Okay. So yeah, so you don't have to be right on top. Uh, you don't have to have a, un a unit go out there. Okay. So I have a city now, and then if, and once you when you when you've selected your city, that the bottom menu, the bottom selection things change. You're gonna see yeah. available constructions on the left and construction queue to the right. Um, the first option, I don't know. Have you settled your city? Yes. Okay, so the first one, uh, uh, if you look at the con available constructions along the bottom, you're going to see a gray rectangle rectangle with some black yeah. pictures in it. Yeah. That's That shows all types of constructions. If you click the buildings, it removes the the um, the units. Sure. And then constructible city and regional expansions, those are, those are things that you build that will go, they're either world wonders or they are things that expand your city so like districts this is where a lot of things that Civ 6 did when it came out I guarantee you they were they looked at Endless Legend when they did that and then the last one of there obviously is the units you can build so, and they'll tell you everything in there that you need you can, uh, I, you can, but I would leave them there because if anyone attacks, if anyone attacks you within a certain range of the city with your, if you, with your other units, the militia will automatically come to your, come to your aid. Okay. Yes, Mr. Gray, this is this game is quite fun. Um, I tend to play mostly um, Civ, but this one definitely is a a treat. I enjoy it. So you guys, how many more moves do you have? Go this way. Oh, new the haunts plus five. Okay, cool. You have any more? No, you don't. All right. So in turn, what? Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so your research tree is if it is going to be a little bit different. Yeah, this basically you can queue up your research here, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. How are you looking at your research screen right now? Yes. Okay, so you're going to see that big big circle of circles. It's really simple. It's a really simple layout. If you mouse over the circle in the middle, because we're in the first era, yeah. the top one is military, the right one is science and industry, the left one is economy and population, and the bottom one is empire and expansion. Sure. Now you can, you can look over the things that are in there yeah. and decide which ones you want to build. If you want to extract resources, then you're going to want to build, you're going to want to research an open pit mine. Because if you look, if you mouse over open pit mine, it's on the left, it's the top one. Uh, it, it, you'll notice dye extractor, emerald extractor, gold extractor, spice extractor, and wine extractor. By researching that, then any of those, any of those uh, resources that are available in your, in your region, you can then build an open pit mine on them. Uh, but you also want you want to be able to improve your uh, your city's growth, and something to keep in mind here. We have seasons, 
Seasons are going to affect, winter is going to decrease your, your the ability of your units to move around. It's going to decrease your city's growth rate. It's going to decrease its production, everything. And there are other things that will pop up as the, as the winter comes that I'm just going to have to explain as they go because I can't remember them all. So, is there a way to set this on automatic research? What you do is you go through and you pick one, you, you pick some, you pick the one that you want first, and then second, and you can you can go through and end up like setting a queue that takes up that does everything, and then you don't have to worry about it again. And the only time you might want to worry about it is if you say decide you want to um, change your queue. Now, the other thing you should notice on this is on the left, there are three era, this era things that have matter. One is the the legendary deed. Be the first to build the legendary building in order to benefit from its unique effects. The other empires will get a refund on their investment. So if, if, if you start building a museum of Auriga and then an AI player finishes it for you, you get a refund on your resource, on, on the time you spend in it. But if you get it first, you get the benefits. And the effects of that building are all listed below. Uh, oh, the one okay. of, okay. Try, try that again. again. Where, Where are you looking at? Um, research screens, you see the thing, the, the three um, side oh. things on the left. Yeah, yeah. Right. right. The bottom one, that's the Museum of Auriga. That's this era's legendary building. Only one Civ can build it. Right. Um, the, and, and, and you'll know when you can build it because it'll become available in your, in your construction queue. The, the one above it, the Wealth Harvester, if you're the first to activate four Luxury Resource Boosters, then you get the reward, which is a five-term boost on your approval rating in your city. And you get, and, and you get, you know, to get wine for that. And then the one on top of that is Visionary Leader. Be the first to destroy at least ten armies in order to gain the reward. And that's a tactical training thing for your units. So each era will have a different version of those. Uh, you'll you'll know when you've ad advanced enough. It'll tell you you've gone into the next era. Okay. okay. And you can mouse over and see the other eras if you want. Um, I think because of who I am, I already have an era two one researched. Yeah, I do. When it's researched, you have an era one already researched too. You should have a couple that are already researched based on who you picked. If it's researched, it's blue. If it's not researched, it's green. Okay, so... Um, now I have to pick. There's always a good one. I'll go that one, that one, that one. Okay. Focus on empire and population right now. Uh, now, on that little circle thing on the right, at the top, you're gonna see, you're gonna see a temple. Yes. You click on that. Nope. Second new quest added. Merchant's Tale. Okay, I got that. Okay. If you click on that, you're gonna go into the altar of Auriga. This is something that you can do during winter. And the things that you know, different things will become available to you based on how many of the orbs that you find. I think is what they call them. Yeah, the pearls. You'll see them sitting on the map, and you're going to want to go get them with your units because the more of those you have, the easier it is for you to um, to, to to get these things. And some of these things are really nice and beneficial. But that's something you don't have to worry about until winter. All right. So my city has grown. There's my unit. Oh, if you see something that's glowing like like uh, gold little sparkles going up into the air, yeah. They it count it that's a that's an unspoiled ruins that you can go look into. My recommendation is instead of wasting a move moving onto the tile, that you move right next to it, and then in your little menu down on the left you'll see you know, where you have unit actions, you're gonna see one with a magnifying glass. You click that, and then click on that, and it will it will look at it without using up your one of your moves. Sorry. Okay, okay, so move next to a ruin. Okay, so you're next to a ruin, right? Yeah. 
when you when you move next to a rune that you can ex that you can explore in your actions box down on the bottom left, you're gonna see a helmet with a micro uh, with a uh, magnifying yeah, glass on it. Magnifying. Click that and then click on the ruins. See what that does is that turns the that that allows you to explore that that uh, ruins without using a without using a move, right? Now, if you zoom out, you if you like just scroll out, you're gonna see the world map. If you zoom oh, in, yeah. if you kind of find a middle point there, you're gonna see that you're kind of looking at like a a resource map kind of view. And you can see the different resources that are available based on their icons. And occasionally, some things will appear that are nearby your your king your your kingdom that are important will will appear in the fog of war. Like I can see an unspoiled ruins that's a fairly good distance away from my thing. It could be like two or three turns moving trying to get to it, but I can see it. On that circle on the bottom right, you'll see a. Okay, so I need to do, and it'll let you know when your construction queue is done. It'll also let you know when you've researched something, so you can move on to the next one. Okay. If you look on the the left of that, you'll see a green button that just shows that we're synchronized, and right above it, yeah. that little the, the the circle with the arrows in a circle. Yeah. That's your. That shows you how many units you still have that need um, that they have a move of. If you click that, it'll take you to one. Okay, so what do I need this first? Oh, so in order to even build the altar of Auriga, yeah. you you have to have pearls. That's something you want to. Have. But if you want to look, if you look on your construction queue, the museum. It'll tell you what you need, and it basically you need to have resources. So getting your your mining re, uh, researched quickly is a good yeah. idea. And when you can build settlers, you want to, because you can get them into another region, and that will help counter the new faction. Okay, and that will get you. All you got to do is put a city in the region, and it's yours. This is not a. This is there are six teams, and this is a Pangea map. So you're going to encounter AI players soon, if not me. Population's changed. No, okay. Good so far. Yeah, so. Research complete. Construction complete. Nice. Okay, so you, I need you to build. So even though I've researched it, I'm going to need to check something else out first. All kinds of minor factions over here. Some of these re hidden resources you have to look at, look for very carefully. So like, you'll see, if you zoom out, you're going to see what looks like a, like a, a Chinese hand fan symbol spread out across the map. Those indicate. Um, Either anomaly things you can research an anomaly or something like that, or uh, resources that you're going to be able to put something on later. Okay. Mm. That was not me. There's usually only one minor faction in a region. They'll have one village. Maybe two, and you will have to pacify them in order to. You can pacify them through quests, or you can just attack them. Uh, 
you can look and see what quests you have in the book if you click on the trophy item on the top left. You can usually, uh, uh, it's from the start, you can only have one, you, well you can have several minor civilizations subjugated to you, these minor factions, you can usually only have one that's actively supporting you, so like uh, giving you, like you can build their units and stuff. Later in the game, as you research more things, you'll be able to start having more and more. I think the, the farthest I've made into one of these games if I'm with Mike, uh, I had three active things. This game definitely requires a lot more thinking <laughs> to, to get into. Um, at some point, you're going to want to start looking at hiring other heroes. You may uh, win them through quests or something. You can yeah. use them to manage cities, build other armies. You usually don't want to get into a fight with other units unless you have um, a hero in it. The hero adds some benefits. talk to you guys. You guys are indifferent to me. Uh, how many do I have? I, I don't really want to. Send a comment to increase influence. Think less than that. It is our hope that Ariga herself will acknowledge our efforts. Yes, but I'm still, I'm still sending it to you because... I don't want to get into a fight. And again, if you have any questions, just ask. And I'll answer them to the best of my abilities. Search complete. And sometimes what looks like you may have a straight path, uh, there, are, if you zoom in really close, you're going to see the, dif the differences in the terrain. Um, if you do decide to initiate battle with somebody, or somebody initiates battle with you, uh, it's going to take you into a, a like a zoomed-in screen where you can focus on the fight, and it will, it will, yeah, it, you're going to have to. You're gonna have to position your units and then and carry on the fight. It would be best for me to help explain once you're in a battle screen. Okay, so Sarah, I have a question. Not really sure how to ask. Most of the games I play, I play until you succeed to defeat the final boss. Are civilized games that way, or play till you fail to survive? Um, more like the latter. There isn't a boss. Usually there is a, a, a victory condition. So like in Civ, you can win by domination, where you capture all of the other civilization's capitals, or you can do all, like complete domination, where you have to wipe out every city, every unit, uh, before, before a civilization is actually out of the game. Uh, I, uh, usually, most people don't do total domination like that because it can take forever. You can win by science, by sending all of the modules to the, to Mars. You can win by religion, having your religion be the dominant religion in in most of the, the world. Uh, like two, it's like 60% of all the cities in the world. And then, but you have to have 60% in each civ. And then you can win by culture, where you win by having the most tourists. So see, there's different ways to win in Civ 6. This, this game has similar things, but I've never actually managed to play a game all the way to the end 
because uh, Chelsea Mike and I usually only played this on occasion. But it has, when I was starting the game up, it has victory conditions. I think I can see them. Not spies. Manage your heroes. Research. No. Somewhere in here I'll be able to look it up. Uh, a new Empire plan will be locked in three turns. Save some influence points. If you got that um, warning there, Dimmer, you're going to want to save that. It's kind of like of policies in Civ Six where you can boost your well, boost well, yourself. <coughs> sorry, sorry, just slow yeah. down. Sorry, sorry, can you repeat that? Everything up until when I talked about the warning that popped up was aimed at Sarah. So for you, if you yeah. got a warning that said imminent empire plan, yeah. you're gonna want to spend your influence points, which you can see up there next to your um, your your dust, which is money. You're welcome, yeah. Sarah. You're going to want to save those because you can do certain things each time an, an Empire plan comes along that benefits you. Okay. And, but when it pops up, just say so. All right, so I have... Yes, jump, jump, jump. Let's go here. Let's examine this. Five glass steel. That's good. That's good. And I'll explain why in just a moment. Do you have any more? this way okay so now if I go to my city I just got five glass steel and I mouse over this you'll notice viewers that the requirements for the building are at the bottom so much production that, that determines how, how many turns based on how, how much production your city has and then there are two sets of materials that you need what I just found in that that ruins took care of one of those now I just have to be able to build a, a mine on oh and I've gained enough experience to do this. so you go to inspect your heroes can gain experience and the, basically how depending on how you want to use them if you want them to manage a city be a combat person whatever you can you can add bit you can give benefits to your civilization based on how you advance this leader. Um, move quicker movement. This is all military, basically over here on the left, and then faction specific stuff. I can get more dust, uh, boost to trading. So this is all city stuff that's specific to the, my faction. And then in the middle here, you get stuff that's a little more common. So like unit recovery, XP for various units, spy stuff. Because you can infiltrate and spy with these heroes. <coughs> Boost your city's defenses and security. And then like the top of that one, no negative effects from winter. That's a big one. But I only have one skill point, so we're going to go... Do I want... <coughs> Pardon me, I'm going to have to get a drink of water here in a second. Do I want to have Indiana Bones and be better at finding stuff in ruins? Plus one movement for units. Well, I think I'm going to go with the dust. Because more money is always a good thing. Okay, so now I need to go back to my city. Because my city has no construction queue. Yeah, Indiana Bones. Yeah, I like that one too. But before I look at that, I want to look at my research because a crude assembly of shacks housing the work is needed to excavate and process a common resource. So now what I need to find is where the resource, they don't necessarily give you the extractor. Yeah, there it is. So dimmer if you go to your research screen and look at the right hand side of the, the that arrows research yeah. there are six things that the topmost one is the one you want to look at okay. you, yes i'm actually putting that up first I'm, ch I'm switching over to that because that is what you need to be able to harvest glass steel and titanium and in my city itself, I have a settler 
So I want to just create a new, new army out of it. So when you have a unit that's in your city, if you want to create a new army out of it, you have to actually go into the city, select the unit, and click make a new army. So do I want to go take this region here? I mean, it's got two factions. It's got some glass steel, but I haven't seen anything else. I also know nothing about these regions. It looks like there's water down here, maybe. What I think I'm going to do with that unit is go this way. Okay. What are we talking about in terms of a city here? Total... 21, well that's not bad, 17, 16, nothing to write home about right now. The another benefit to the sieve that I have, uh, Dimmer and Sarah, is that it, that's not what I meant to do. Well, now I have a city there. I meant to hit right click. So now, this whole region is now mine. And I can see green. What color? You're pink, right? Yeah. So I can now see a, a Civ AI, which means I'm going to want to get another settler out pretty quickly and get it into this region so I can get it before he can move closer to me. I can see, see a touch, touch of green, green or aqua, whatever that is. Well, I'm light blue. And then there's a Maybe green, oh, it's like a pale green. Maybe that's, Maybe that's what I'm seeing. Light, light blue. blue. Yeah. yeah. Which direction is it for you on the map? Uh, northwest. Northwest. Okay, so you the you probably are come. You probably can see the southern edge of. Do you can you see, uh, Malar, like the region of Malar? No, no. Okay. Yeah, the title, the name is hidden. Oh wait a minute. Construction cues. Very important. Very important. Spice extractor. Yes, that means there's spice there. Dust filtration, that's good. City improvement, I think I'm going to do. All of that, and then build that, and then build that. And we'll go from there. And then on my other city, oh, uh, Sarah, if you, yeah, I know you can see it. I don't know if Dimmer has my stream up also. My, oh, cities, yeah, my cities look like beetles on purpose. I can actually pick up and move my city if I wanted to. So I can't do much. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click, go ahead and build another settler and then build a burrow. Burrows go next to your cities and they will increase the input next to it. So but you also have to be careful because if you put too many burrows around your city, you can't have some of the wonders closer to it. But the more burrows that you have, the more, like, you're, you can put wonders on the other side of them. So that burrow will take there, and then I can then attach a wonder over here if I wanted to. There we go. So we'll get another settler in two turns, one more turn, and then I'm going to put him up here. So Melantor has already grown, that's always nice. Okay, so where's my unit up here? You guys go this way. Let's see what we see over here. Not much. I mean there's a I'll be able to explore that next turn. And all of your cities come with a militia in it. Your first city has an extra one. And you can you can build units. Like my unit is called the Dervish. It's a cavalry unit. Uh, I like to, as soon as I can, I like to get some kind of ranged unit for fighting. My hero has two dervish with him. My hero is ranged in this one, so that's that's a benefit that I have. I think this is the one that's ranged. Yeah, point blank power one. All right, so time to take this region. It's a very beautiful game. 
I'm actually really enjoying him. I, I tried a game of Endless Space 2 on... Oh, why is it blocked? Why? What's the prerequisite? What's your problem? What's my... Ah, the population. So because I built a settler, I have to wait on that particular thing. So I'm going to go ahead and build a dervish, so I have an extra unit. Come here, settler, new army, and have you... Oh, I want the settler. <coughs> See any other resources? And then this fella, you go here. And let's search this. Oh, nice titanium. Let's see. Oh, we're having a fight. So I'm getting some rumblers. Okay, so we get to see the the first fight. Now you can do it auto, so you don't have to deal with it. You can uh, pick a stance, offensive, defensive, and then do manual where you control it, spectator where you watch the battle, or just auto, and it just rolls the numbers and shows you the results. Um, uh, auto is computer fighting, so it's computer fighting computer. You can retreat from a fight if you want, but generally you'll take damage when you do that. Sure. Um, with the hero and with the units I have here, I'm just going to do auto for now. Yep. And click fight. Results inconclusive. It looks like we won, but one of the rumblers got away. Um, one of my dervishes took some damage. So That's that army right there. So these guys, I'm going to have them go this way. They're going to try to follow me. So we'll see. There we go. Maybe if I bring them close, if I if that can trail that, if I can bring that army close enough to me that we could go near my city. And oh, he wants to have a fight. You are a dignified and peaceful leader. It is our hope that your wisdom be taken as an example of the nations. Thank you for the compliment. Empire plan developed. Okay, and that are that that unit's done. Defeat the Avenging Army, completed a quest, plus 15 titanium. That's brilliant. Okay, so Quansk is now going to start working on this. Again, it has benefits based on where you put it. 9 1, and then I think that's going to be the best. And I'm going to move it up there. I think. I have the ability, uh, yeah, up here. I Up here I can control my units. I can control my city's production and focus on different things to try to bring down. Um, if you're looking at a, a city dimmer, the city info on the top, you're going to see your units. You'll see uh, on the right, you'll see a, uh, your workers panel. And you can, they, that's based on the number of people that you have. My city's a little lower because I produce two settlers. It, they, you can sh shuffle them around in there to boost something. So I put put them both in production, but I think actually I want to move it back. Let's see what happens if I go here. Yeah, that doesn't make it matter. Yep, so I'm going to keep them like that, and that way my, oh, no, the museum can get built faster and I have a new empire plan who grew ah both cities grew all right so in here you get to spend your points your influence points to, to boost your empire basically so here I can do plus three if I go if I spend 
see that I can't do it. So I have to wait until the next turn when I can do it. So if I go here, I can get plus three dust per cities. That's money. If I go here, plus 20% on science, so researching stuff. Increase my units power or increase the production of my cities. Uh, of my cities. So it just depends on how I want to do. Um, I can't actually do anything with it right now, so I'm just going to leave it. Let you guys go here. Should just move there. Uh, search this. Are they? Are they in your city? Yeah. Okay, so click well, just just click once no, on it. I can't. The, like, I, it, it's, it's a dark image. Oh, you mean meaning you can't produce them yet? Yeah. Yeah. There must be mouse over it, and it will at the bottom. It will give you requirements. Production versus, um, ha and and usually it's a of citizen. How many people are in your city? Um, you see on the left of your city the little blue or uh, green, whatever population, whatever color you are, you know, human figurine. Look above it. That's the population in your city. You don't have to actually do. You don't even have to be looking in your city. You just need to be down where you can see the the, the like the little tooltip bar that pops up that has your city name and stuff. On the left of to the left of your city name, there's a number that tells you how many people live in the city. If you've got more than one, then you should be able to build it. But you may have to research something. I'm not sure. The, the different civs have different abilities. So if I wanted to place it, ooh, that's good. 191043, 1965, 1560. Okay, so good, not so good. Having really high food and production is good. Sometimes you're gonna find something where like the the some of the other benefits are are really good, but 12 and 12, but no food. So honestly, this looks like the place. All right, so now I have three territories to my, for my own. I can't even see all of them. There was oh. one Earl Grey left. Hello, dear. Thank you. I'm gonna go back there. Oh, okay. My wife brought me some tea. It's very nice of her. Okay, so I should be able to just end my turn. Oh, construction. I kind of have to do that. Ooh, glass steel extractor. Build that. And then increment and then that. Okay. Well, then we will wait until the next turn when I'll have two, oh, plus four influence now. I think it's based on the number of regions or number of cities you have. You can only have one city per region, so. Um, to do something. You've encountered the empire of Styros. Here, the ally, loyal children, defenders of Mother Origa. Empire information, you are You've scattered and awakened them. They are coming together, hoping to save where we can rebuild the life they once had. So they are mercurial diplomats. They don't like having other people close to them. Joy, and I'm sharing borders with them. <laughs> okay. So thank you very much. It's nice to meet you. I need. Okay, so where is the Empire plan? Where's this one again? There. Now I can actually see the tile inputs. 
Yes, yes, I know you're waiting on me. I'm trying to find... I should start um, conquering some of these... Uh, yeah, or completing quests for them. So if you can't actually do an empire plan when one when pops, then you have to wait until the next time. So it's so you want to be careful how much influence you spend in diplomatic uh, you know ventures because if if an if an empire plan pops and you and they'll tell they'll give you a warning they'll tell you in there if you go to look at the top left thing, the empire screen, right in yeah. the, the middle the bottom middle of the menu that appear or the display that appears you'll see empire plan at the bottom it tells you next plan in nine turns so if you know you're going to be able to replace you know the the influence that you spend it might be worth it okay so this unit this way well, i have wine that's what that is Simply minor faction. Yeah, you you'll have to either conquer them or do something with them. Prove that. Oh, there's the the roving clans, the ranged one. Pillage. City defense. Parley. Sewer system's a good one. This is a good one. This is a good one. So let's go with those for now. All right. Computing turn. Uh, yes, it is. It's very detailed. Oh, and I should uh, thank Pixel Sharks channel for subscribing again yesterday. It's appreciated. And to uh, Dimmer there, thank you also for your subscription. Oh, sure. I don't know what it does, but hey, Good. you seem to it's, appreciate it. It supports me. Like, uh, financially speaking, the... Oh, okay. Yeah, the... the yours doing yours through Twitch Prime. But it just means that Amazon is paying the the subscription, and Twitch and I split that 50-50. Uh -huh. So that's why it's that's why it's nice. So I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. What are you working on? What the heck? Why is it taking you so long? You have no, you have no production is why. Okay, that's a little better. A little bit titanium extractor. Seed storage. Yeah, that's better. It's a little bit better. Oh, when you're looking at your construction queue, if you queue up a bunch of stuff for your city, you're gonna see the numbers for turns. What that number is saying is like the first one at the top is three turns. The next one it says seven turns. That's the total turns that that thing will take to build plus the one in front of it. Sure. So really, it's four turns for the Empire Mint. Yeah. You could switch for me. We're looking at the spice extractor versus the Empire Mint. You could switch them and you think, oh, it's going to be four turns. Sometimes though, when you make that that shift, uh, the the production things run around, and all of a sudden you're going to discover that that one's three, and then the one you just moved down has become four turns. It's just it's different for each one. Die extractor, yep, let's put that on the queue. Titanium, yep, that's always good. I'm not doing any more settlers from the city seed storage. Okay. Alright. And what's your queue look like? Alright, that's good. We'll add these to yours also. Okay.
So now I'm gaining glass steel. And when you start actually mining, when you get actually when you actually get one of those resource miners down on a resource, and the top yeah. left where you can see your um, your dust and your influence in between, you know what your the name of what you're currently researching with the number of turns it has left in parentheses. That's if you start like say mining titanium, titanium will appear right below the gold, the I mean the dust. Yeah. yeah. And it'll show you how much you have. Okay, so you're gonna go this way. I'll turn you off for now. So there's some more titanium. Uh, if you look on the circle on the bottom right there, Dimmer. Thing that says in turn and all that stuff. Yeah. Beneath it, there are two little wings, basically, or like tail fins on an on, like the tail wings on an airplane. Yeah. The one on the left, it'll show you the hex grid. You can toggle it so you can see where the hexes are. Yeah. The one on the right toggles the resource output. So if you zoom in Ooh. close enough, yeah, and you can turn that on and off as you need. You can use that to help plan things, you know, around your city and stuff. How do I get there? This guy, this need, these guys need to heal. So how do I heal them? I think you have to send them back to the city for them to heal. Yeah, I think you have to send them back. I'm not seeing a command on there. Well, I got it. So, like, of course, I have no actions, so we'll have to I'll have to see on my next turn how that changes. But you may have to send them back to your city for them to heal. I seem to recall doing it before, though. I don't. Okay. Okay. Transfer units. How do you? Don't want to sell it. I'm trying to figure. I don't remember where. I know there's a. To remain idle. Auto explore. Detach. Garrison them nearby. Maybe they just do it automatically? I don't know. You encountered the Sabas cultists. You're mildly jealous. I'm sorry you are jealous. We do not need to cause you jealousy. It just happens. And if you happen to run, even if you run out of move points, if you end next to a, an unspoiled um, ruin, you can still search it. I found the 37, a crossbow. Okay, so yes, these these weapons you can have built, and you can put them on your your heroes. Um, or I mean, actually, you basically you buy them. Okay, so click on click on your hero, like select your army, yeah. and then click on the picture of your hero in the bottom left. Okay. And so now you're you're looking at your hero. In the middle, you'll see slots for equipment. Okay, so right now mine has a crossbow and iron good. If I want to put this uh, new crossbow that I just picked up which yeah. is a really good one, I have to spend six glass steel in order to put it on there, which I currently don't have. I have to wait until I've mined enough of it. 
that you have a bunch of different weapons that you can just put on based on production. Uh, they start obviously with tier one. You'll find the you'll you'll find them all over what what's available on the left if you want to say change one. Mm -hmm. Pretty much if you're sh carrying something that's tier one, plus nine on unit, plus five on it, then you're not going to find too many improvements on it in there, but you may. There we go. So I have, there was a tier one thing in there, in, in a, uh, a long bow, which has imp better, more, better improvements on the one that I had. So now I have this flying slayer two plus 30 damage dealt to flying units. And I've boosted the damage for my units and I've boosted their attack by doing that. But I think Hold on, I think I just did it with that. Equipment cost. That's what I want. What's why is that letting me? I think I may actually need to be Yep, I need to be in my own region. That's what it is. So you if you want to do that, you have to be in your own region. That's all it is. Okay. Generally, other factions don't like it when you explore ruins in their territory. It's like digging up it's like digging up artifacts in Civ Six and other people's territory. That's a traitor that I just saw right there. So let's go this way. All right. So now that I'm back in my territory, I'm going to change. Pay the 12. Oh, there. So now I have the improvement. Alright. Good, good. Let's check your... Everybody's in production right now. It's good. It's fine. Let's keep that there. I'm actually bringing my army down to the south east of me so I can see if I can beat you. I'm sending my unit to back to my town. Just so I can heal up. Mm-hmm. Just try and take my unit. Cover. New minor faction, the Jodas. Oh, I still have more moves. Yay! Hmm, there's a small, a thin region, length, uh, width-wise. It's grown, what are, how's my research going? Sewer system? Oh, that's quest. I haven't failed any. Yeah, you should always keep an eye on your quest journal. Make sure all the Jodas villages are pacified in the region where the indicated ruin lies. Where is the indicated? Oh, okay, yeah, that's why that one appeared. If you see something that's, like, glowing off of your map, that's that it usually has to deal with a quest. So in this case, I see a ruin off down to the south of my second region, although it may actually be in the same region that my my southern region is in, my southern territory. I'm I'm gonna head that way. But it looks like to complete the quest, I simply have to pacify the the factions that are are here. So I'm gonna go look at the factions. That's not what I want to see where... Armenian units, diplomatic relations... That's not it. Okay, so, yeah, back on the Empire screen, Empire Management screen on the top left, the... If you see, a, there's a... On the, on the bottom left square, it says Assimilated Minor Factions. Um, the ones that you're going to assimilate will appear there. So, on the next turn, I'm going to see about pacifying this one right here. Depending on how, how the range, they may be close enough for my city's militia to come to my aid. We'll see. Don't know yet. 
Oh, Mr. Gray hosted also. I appreciate that. I think he did. I think he did as a like right off the bat. So it was before the alert picked it, caught it. But Sarah got to see it. Okay, I've created a unit and he's stuck in my city. How do I get him? Okay, so when you're looking at your city screen, yeah. click click on the unit that you want. Let me see if I can. Yeah. Oh, I'm trying to. Uh, how do I? Un that's not what I wanted. Although I should save. I know there's a way to unend your turn. I just don't remember what it is. Okay, so um, highlight them. Yeah, highlight the unit. And then right at the bottom, right below, in the bottom left right there, see new army? Yeah. Click that. Uh -huh. Yes, and they will exit your city. And then you just have to select them and you can start walking with them. You can also, you can you can select multiple <laughs> units and send them with it. So now I've got three units. So that should be enough pass by two. Yes. Actually, yeah. I don't know why it's not letting me. Maybe it's if I click that. Looks like, uh, okay, I haven't missed him. Winter has started. Pay attention to those, those, um, the season effects. So you have plus one food on that terrain. And minus, minus, minus one vision on expansions on city tiles and on units. So these your units aren't going to see as far these effects get they, they're based on the, that if you look at the dark season has begun and then there's something in parentheses hey thank you for that sarah for, thanks for tossing those cheese bits everybody enjoy your cheese courtesy of sarah holiday cheese yeah, that's even better what kind of cheese are we talking about here though you threw the cheese what kind of cheese are we talking about here is this like a uh, good, so good Swiss, uh, nice, nice cheddar. What are we talking about? So yeah, those effects are going to get harder, and it's based on the dark season has begun. Light. These are fairly light, but they will get harder as it goes on. And now, if you look at the temple above your little circle there, yeah. the temple is active. But if you don't have any pearls, you can't activate any of those things. And so far. I haven't seen many pearls sitting around on the map. They don't. They don't just sit there. Um, actually, right now, that's because I. I yeah, that's uh, pizza cheese. Nice. So mozzarella, cheddar, um, you know, all that good stuff. Pizza cheese. Yeah. Um, if you zoom out a little, so you can see the overview. If you look throughout the the what's visible on your map, you're going to see white circles. Yeah, I see. Go move on to that and you get a pearl. And do they bounce around or do they stay there? They'll stay there for a little bit and then they'll move. Okay, so I just I just got a pearl. So now when I go in and look at this stuff, cost ten. I'm not sure where it keeps track of them. I know it keeps track of them somewhere. A new empire, new empire plan in three turns. Okay, so all right, let's attack them. One of the one of the things you can research, by the way, is the ability to parlay. That gives you the chance to take over a faction without fighting them. Yes, and my fl and I'm the militia are coming to my to my aid. So let's go. Yes, and. My, it looks like my dervish gains them, gain a level, it looks like. Gained a level. Yes, they are now level two. Cool. And the, when you've assimilated one, you can, the, a new a faction assimilation screen will pop up and it'll tell you what you can do to assimilate it. And it okay. usually costs assimilation points. So since I'm gaining four a turn and I'm going to gain 12 over the next three turns and it only costs 15, I'm going to go ahead and, and assimilate them. 
So now when I go look at my empire management screen, they are there. And that unit, I can now, when I look at my units in, this, in the city, one, I, I now have the ability to build Jota's villages in that region, but I also can build that, that unit that, come, that that one offers. In this case, it's a short range, um, ranged unit. It's stronger, but it is, but it has limited range. Okay. So that's just an example. Let's go this way. But my but it it looked like yeah, I'm not sure. I'd have to try it at a farther distance. But it looks like the no 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 don't do that. Do that. You need to go away. I don't need that anymore. Okay. It looks like the the the, the uh, militia will come to your aid when you do that. Okay. So what are you working on? Seven turns. Yeah, and units are going to take a little bit longer to build right now. So yeah, the, once you've uh, subdued them, you can build a you can build an actual village over top of the place where you uh, captured them. A minor village, you can build a better village on top of it. Okay. Yes, I got the wonder. And that means, if I remember correctly, age. The new era has begun, the Age of Glory. Because I completed the... I completed the legendary building. Thanks to the scientific progress of your empire, a new legendary building and deeds are available and ready to be complete, but you must be fast. So the new wonder is the Baron of Industry. Yeah, wasn't it? was nice music, wasn't it? I like it. And you have other... Things that you can do. So if you go look at your, yes, I now have that. If you go look at your research screen, ooh, facility revealed, science stockpile, right, plus one influence on revealed facility. Yeah, now you're going to be able to see some hidden facilities that are places that you can take advantage of if they're in your territory. Okay, so it now has grown to five. Very pleased. I have found that in this game, at least on the easier on the easier settings, which this one is an easy one, for you to kind of get the get the ropes. The the sieves are less likely to try to build the wonders. So pacified all the villages. Oh, there's another village. There it is. I see it. Let's go this way. So I'll, before I can go to this particular ruins, I have to pacify a another village in the same region. Oh, you can see where your pearls are, right above the little the, the circle, the intern circle, right beneath the temple. There's where your pearls are. I have six. Just to give you an idea. Okay, so this I want. No, not there. Who built? Who built it? You did. New army, and I want you. Yes. If you've if you've taken out a city, yes. So what? Um, no. If you go into your city in that region, you're gonna find a uh, like a thing that you can build. That's. Uh, specific to that one, sp specific to that particular faction. And I think you have to actually build that on top of them, in order. Because I'm looking through this. I mean, unless there's another one hiding around here somewhere, I'm not seeing that. I'm not seeing. What's this foundation? Then it may just be a matter of putting something on that particular. Village that you just wiped out to subdue to finish subduing it. 
that's the case, I'm going to move the Jodas thing up. Hello, Zoe, how are you? How is your conversation with Isa? After talking with Isa, I, um, I picked up a, a book, one of my Fantomius books, and I was practically drawn to it, so I didn't stop until now. Cool. Oh, could you bring me one of those? Please? I know you had some earlier. You left them sitting on the couch. This is my lunch. Yeah, I need... Uh, I haven't had breakfast. <laughs> Five no o'clock. Yeah, just bring me one real quick. Just a smaller, smaller one. Well, I didn't get up until noon. Because I stay up until four working on your Legos. That's actually something I'm going to do this week. I'm f currently going through and finding all of the... The... The, Le the Lego pieces that are going to be needed for a um, for a piece, and then I'm going to bring it in here and I'm going to build it on stream. I get to play with Legos. Thank you. Is it locked? Yeah. Okay. I love my Phantomies books. I know, you've told me. We'll talk about that later. Thank you for my pizza, Zoe. And you get a slightly different menu that pops up if your cities all finish stuff on the same turn. It'll show you all of them, so you don't have to go to each one to see what it is they, they finished. that one. Nice. Now I have more units. Well, and they are healing themselves as they go on their own. There must be another one down like right here. What are you doing this for? Lisa? For a little while. Okay. Alright, Zoe gets to do some... Oh, wait a minute, Zoe! back up something I have to tell her. She's not going to like it. <laughs> Sorry, I did not realize you were waiting on me. It's amazing, isn't it? Look, look, there it is. Okay, I have to mute my microphone for just a second. Your microphone's not muted. Oh, yeah, I'm back. I had to give Zoe some instructions. But yes, it is. You got you 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 sent it over, and here it is. My cheese, my pizza cheese. Sarah means business. All right, summer has returned. Oh, make sure you. I forgot about this. You need to make sure that you build the altar of Auriga. Only then, only then can you use that the, the temple minor faction where are you you're in another one I don't care about that there's the village I'm looking for let us let us fight auto ha ha one of these fights I should eventually do. You guys go there. Mm, that's a roaming army. Do, do I, I have, have to, to do, do the empire, empire to find the double? Do you have to do what? Well, so so I do the empire 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 empire. Yes, if you do it, if you're going to do it, you yeah. have to do it this turn. 
you know, don't wait. So now <clears throat> I have 49. So I got almost all of those back. I was at 51. But it costs 30 to do one of these and 90 to do the next one. So I'm only really going to be able to do one. So do I want dust, vision, research, or production? I think I want dust. Mm, that production, that production is going to be good. Okay, so new faction, got that. Why do you stay on the screen? Go away, go away. I don't, don't, don't want it. Mm, oh, so buildings, to build this, I need glass. Oh, so almost, I'm almost there. Ooh. It's nice. Like, I've got four things queued up in my capital. They each take one turn. Yeah, we'll go ahead and build another one of those. A little while, so we'll set that there. Actually, you know what? Let's take that off for now. How long will it take you to do this? Two turns? Let's move you up here. Yeah, let's do that so I can get another city over here. Yeah, pearls are all over the place if you haven't noticed. To build. So yeah, in order to build the altar of Aria, you have to have your ten, you have to have your ten pearls. Zoe, what are you doing? Wait, show me your book. All right. Do you have enough light? Looks like one more turn, and I'll be able to. Okay, so I'm finally going to actually do a fight. So if you want to, Dimmer, if you want to hop over to look at my stream to watch one, you can. Watch. If you want, if you want to peek into my stream to watch a battle, I'm about to do one. I can. I can. All the time. I can. All the time. Oh, well, we have a device. <laughs> all right, so once you start a battle, your armies will all spread out into different positions in this zone area, this big area. So basically you're fighting in this whole region in the southern part of your thing. The units that you see over here on the left are my units. The units on the right are their units, and they are ranged units. And they are ranged units who are up on a cliff. So in order to get to them with my units here, I have to come this direction. The only one of my units that has, that is ranged here is the leader. So what I'm going to do is deploy them to, can I go here? Why aren't you letting me move? Advance units, move units to the rear of the battle, re reset units to their default deployment. Yeah, you're supposed to let me be able to move. Why aren't you letting me move? Ah, there we go. You go this way. 
this way. So what I'm going to do is make you guys come down this direction. Let's put you up here on this. And now, so we target. This one right here, or target, I'll target that one, and then launch. So you guys are going to head that direction. My my um, hero will be able to hit them from there. So now they're going to fire. I'm glad that the uh, healthiest unit went up that direction. I wanted to, I would have preferred to have them closer, but we have to go up, we have to go around them. They've got a really good position right there. And now, my, my hero. Ooh, nice. Okay, so you are going to attack. launch. Early on when Mike and I were playing this, we didn't realize that we could change the targeting. So, see these are these, these units, that's why I want to get a couple for myself. These, these, these units of theirs are quite strong. They can only, they can only, um, like, you know, fight back against one um, unit. So when they when they get attacked the first unit, they can fight back at, but the second unit that attacks them cannot. They cannot. So now, since there's only one unit left, I'm just going to launch. And because they died, they couldn't fight back. So the battle is now over. I'm not really sure what they're doing, but okay. Um, redeploy yourselves as you see fit. And now we'll all merge back together, and the battle is now over. And one of my units gained experience, so that's nice. Now we'll continue here and search this room. So there you go, that was a battle. Definitely a little bit more complicated than a battle with What You're was that? Uh, no, I'm not the dark green. I am definitely not the dark green. I'm the light blue. So, thank you for that, Sarah. It was appreciated. What did I find? I have pacified all the villages. I think they're seriously going to make me... Oh, you people. Now let's move you up to the top. But one of the things you can do to make your moving stuff around easier is you can pop your menu, your, your construction queue up higher. So yeah, they're going to literally make me wait until I have pacified, I've put villages on both of these. To, to declare them pacified, which is kind of annoying. Um, how about you head this direction? No, go there. All right, so there. That's a battle. And it's definitely, I, it's kind of, it's definitely, it's more involved than a battle from Civ Six. I kind of like it that way because if you decide you want to go in you can really you have more control over who attacks what so you can potentially reduce the number of um, casualties you take so I'm gonna have you go this way Oh, 
do it. We'll find out. I know there's a way to um click okay, so yeah, there you go. There's the other village. It's not that you have to build the village on top of them. You just there was another village hiding over here. What's the prerequisite for that? Husbandry center. Who was trying to build that? Husbandry center. You were trying to build that, weren't you? No. You were trying to build it. Oh, it can only be built once. There you go. So you and you get that stuff refunded. Oh, my capital can now build this. Who, who can do it faster? Not you. <laughs> capital. Where do we want it to go? This one is an industry boost. Why aren't you showing me what I want to see? Nine one, three one, seven two, and you have to also. It's handy to have the the tool like the outputs on because then you can see what it's going to add you. There's no gain to that one right there. No gain, no gain. So this one it gives you gain, but look, it's giving you less production. I still have not actually figured out if that's just on top. If this adds it on top of. Or if it just limits it. So this one is the closest one, so I'm going to put it there, and we'll see if it changes it. And we are moving it up. We'll finish the mill foundry because that increases production. All right, so let's attack. I'm going to do this on auto this time. Oof! 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 My units! Oh, man, you guys need to heal. And now the quest is complete. Make sure all. I got 15 emeralds. Shh! You're making a lot of noise. So, inspect the unspoiled ruins located in Melantor. So, that's the next part I needed to do, which is head. I wonder if it'll let me do it from up here. Let's see. Nope. I actually need to be next to it. So let's go this way. Go through there. Got another pearl. Alright, so if put a 612. Ooh, that's a good one. Lots of reduction. People are happy. Less production, but more food. That's a good one. 25 and 2. There's a lot of places to put one down here, so you know, I'm going to need to take the time. I mean, putting it closer is kind of nice. But let's see what we get when we start going out this direction. 6 and not finding anything that's quite as good. Oh, there we go. We got some science on that one. That's better than that. That's a good one. 14, 6, 6. Lots of good choices up here. 19, 10 more. No dust production, though. Ooh. That's good for food, but not so good for... Oh my goodness, 30! Talk about per that city's gonna grow like rabbits. Nine, fifteen, six, five, ten. That one. 
I think that's where we're going to go. And we're going to get another pearl in the process. All right, so Melantor has grown. Gained enough experience. Oh, when you put an ins when you put uh, an experience point into your hero, you're going to notice either a slot of three things will appear at the top of the circle, or it'll two. And that tells you how many experience points you can put into that one to keep improving on it. So you'll see the level one, two, and three at the bottom. So level three would improve, improve dust with anomalies by that much. Now I can also go up here. This is this one right here gets into whether or not. Uh, uh, I mean, it's okay. Well, here let me. Or unless you're so efficient in turn. I'm still taking my turn. Yeah, I'm still doing my turn. What was I just looking at? Oh, my hero. Skill tree. But these are all in here. Um, I th I'm not sure if these mean that the person has to be in the city. I need to check that. Unearthing relics, which is kind of good. And you'll notice that you can kind of cross over into these other categories. You don't have to build from the bottom up. There we go. So that will reduce my, reduce the unhappiness from expanding when I put this new, new one down. I did that already. Go away. Dismiss. Okay. Okay, so how's the game for you now? Absolutely. Well, I haven't, I just finished my turn, so you might have to wait a second. The only thing I can do with my mask, not being happy, and it's yeah, the game may need to be resynced. I'm waiting to see. It says computing turn, so it's still technically working out the the computer, the AI's things. So we'll see. I did save it, so we'll be able to come back to that point where I saved it. Plus, it has autosave on so there are a couple turns we can go back to if it does probably a good time to wrap this one up for now you should go to bed it's after midnight there yeah. yep i think the game is still i mean the game's still active for me but i think it's trying to communicate with your computer yeah. hmm did you crash uh, well, well, hey, we made it pretty. We we had a good run for now. We can come back to this later, right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. So, I'm gonna go ahead and exit the game on my side. I'm just to go back. All right. So, exit that. So. I'm going to cast a host over to, let's see, who's, is he still on? Let's see. Yeah, I think he, oh, no, I like this game, Sarah, so I was having fun playing it. Yep, so MS is still on, so I'm going to cast a host over to that MS gamer. There, I think you follow him already. He's currently playing Human Fall Flat and Bro Force. So I think he finally finished Human Fall Flat, which for him is good because I think that game was frustrating him. <laughs> so I'm going to do my, my sign off screen here and then I will 
send cast the host on over to his channel so thanks again for tuning in uh, i may be on a little bit later just depends on how art's evening goes we shall see um, but i will likely be on later i'm probably going to try a new game that a uh, emma regine gave me as a, as a give out so i will catch you later say goodbye dimmer goodbye, goodbye dimmer, dimmer. <laughs> And thanks for joining.